Hey everybody, welcome back. If you're new here, hi, I'm Mercury. Welcome to my channel. It's my daily vlog, so whatever I'm up to is what you're gonna see here. And today we are still on Royal Caribbean's um, Explorer of the Seas. And today's video is going to be a kind of compilation of different types of entertainment that they have on board. So a lot of them I was able to record, but there is the ice skating show, which I can only take still, still photos at. So that will just be some really awesome photos um, with some music, but I do have some video clips and we'll, we'll talk about some of the live entertainment offerings on board the ship. Okay, Studio B, we're going to the ice show. So on this ship, they don't have any actual Broadway productions, but they do have like Broadway style shows. So tonight's production is called Wild, Cool, and Swingin'. So I have no idea what it's gonna be. I presume songs and dance, but I'm gonna go check it out. So come join me. Wild, Cool, and Swingin'. This theater is really big. It's two decks high and it has like a mezzanine level and a upper level and an orchestra level. Lots of seating. We got here a half hour before showtime and plenty of time to spare. just finished watching the show and it was a lot of fun. I will say I do enjoy the actual Broadway shows that are on board ship a, a little bit more. This was a lot of fun. Um, it was like a Vegas style cabaret lounge type of a, a performance. The voices of the singers were absolutely amazing. So talented and the dancers were so on point. They, they were a pleasure to watch. The reason that I say the Broadway 
productions I enjoy more is I'm already familiar with the stories and I connect to it a little bit more. It's not a reflection on the talent of the performance because they were on point. So this was a, a really enjoyable show. So another day and another show. Tonight's show, we're going to see a show called Impact. And this is being described as like a percussion type of show. So I, I'm, I don't know for sure, but I'm expecting something similar to say like a Blue Man group or Stomp or something like that. So let's go see tonight's show.
I just saw the show Impact. Not what I was expecting, but I don't really know what I was expecting. So it was a group from Argentina, and you know they described it as being a per percussion-based show, which made me think drums. But more often than not, like there were drums, but more often than not, the percussion was their feet. They used their tootsies to, to make the music. So it was really awesome. They were amazing dancers. And then they closed the show out with using bolos. I haven't seen bolos in years. That was pretty amazing. So I, I thought that was the best show so far. So, so far I've seen the ice show. Then I saw um, the, the s something dance and swing. I can't remember the name of it. But those are the, the shows I've seen so far. And so far I, I've enjoyed Impact the most. Tonight they have a dancing spectacular. It's called Invitation to Dance. Other than it has dancing, I don't really know what to expect, but we're about to find out. So we just got back from watching the Dancing Spectacular show. Um, it was the same cast as the Swing show the other night. I forget the name of the show. But it's the same cast. So it's four lead singers and the rest are dancers. I would distinguish the difference by the title. Uh, this show focused on dancing. Although the singers were there and they supported the dancers and they helped progress the story of the dance, the, the dance was what it was all about tonight. And they were amazing. They were so skillful. They had many different styles. They just really had high energy and you just wanted to get up and boogie with them. But like, you know, it's not that kind of venue. It's not that kind of show. But, oh, they were great. My favorite from tonight, um, they did a dance to the, the Man of La Mancha. Oh, it was so good. It was so good. I, I really, really, really enjoyed that one. 
So that was tonight's dancing show. So that one, that one I really enjoyed. So future Mercury here, back to sum everything up for you. So I've had a, a few days to sort of process all of the shows and everything that I saw on the ship. So the entertainment, so, so good. So if I were to rank my favorite shows that I saw, number one, Impact. That was amazing and unexpected. So it's listed in the cruise compass as being like a percussion show. And when the, um, the cruise director was talking about it, they were like, there's always a surprise. You never know what they're going to do next. But they said that without any context. So I was like, I, I still don't know what that means. And then watching them perform and seeing them using the floor and their feet and the bolos and like it, it was next level. It was amazing. So I don't know how long they stay on the ship. They are from Argentina and they, you know, happened to be on the cruise that I was on and I feel very lucky that they were there. So that was number one. Picking the number two spot is, is very hard for me. And it's sort of like I waver back and forth between the ice skating show and the dance show because they were both really good in really different ways. You know, I have a, a love for ice skating. I, I, you know, it was a passion as a child. So there's this connection that I have to ice skating because of that. And I will always have a love for those kind of ice capades type of shows. The story was adorable. It like celebrated all of the seasons. So it was like fall and w winter and spring and summer and like different characters to match. The bee was hilarious. Um, winter was a lot of fun. They made it snow with like the snope. Uh, yeah, it was just, it was a really, really enjoyable show. And on the other hand, the dance show was great. They played a lot more songs that I connected to. The Man of La Mancha was incredible. Um, and just the skill of their dance team. It's just like so A plus, A A plus. And then taking up the end is that wild, cool, and swinging show. And that was like this Vegas style cabaret lounge type of act. They played a lot of songs sort of similar to like, say like Frank Sinatra, Tony Bennett, th those type of songs. Now, although good music and classic and they have their place, they are not my style of music. They are not the music that I would default to for what I want to see in a show. So I think because of that, I felt a little bit removed from that show. But the talent, the singers and the dancers are top notch. And I don't want to detract anything from their talent and skill. Just the song choices, the presentation, it's not what I would have chosen. But that does not mean it was a bad show because it was not a bad show. It was a very good show. Just in the order of the shows that I saw on the ship, it just, it took up the tail. So I hope that's helpful. I hope that gives you a little bit of guidance for what shows you might want to see. The other thing is there is a stand-up comic on the ship. I skip those shows. I'm not a, a big stand-up person. Um, I am a tough sell on comedy. And most of the time when I'm watching a stand-up comedian, I'm like, I see what you're doing there. I see you, you think you're being funny, but um, it's just not working out, right? Yeah, and like a lot of other people find people funny that, that I just, I don't connect in that way. So I, I passed on the stand-up comic. So, you know, just so you know, there is a comedy show on the ship also. But that is the summary of all of the entertainment I saw on the ship. So with that, I'm done for the day. I'll see y'all tomorrow. And until then, stay inspired by everyone. Take care.